New Zealand has commemorated the passing of Queen Elizabeth II at a state memorial in Wellington. The service paid tribute to Her Majesty's connection to the country, reflecting on the 10 visits paid to New Zealand during her 70-year reign. A final lament to honour the late Queen. Murray Mansfield played outside Her Majesty's window most mornings during her last visit to Aotearoa, a state memorial in the capital, the final fitting send-off for the Queen of New Zealand. New Zealand's Defence Force led the service with a parade of the Queen's colours and personal flag for the final time. before a nationwide minute of silence was held to acknowledge the Queen's 70 years of service. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, who'd arrived on an early flight from New York, delivered one of the more poignant readings, an extract from the royal visit in 1954. The Gothic sailed quietly into the majestic Milford Sound, where, with no crowds to acclaim them, Queen Elizabeth and Duke, the Duke of Edinburgh gazed lingeringly at the splendid scenic wonder, epitomising the beauty of the land they were leaving, until the royal yacht turned again and headed into the open sea. She was joined by her daughter Neve and partner Clark Gayford arriving together before the service. The location of the State Memorial at the Wellington Cathedral of St Paul was a significant one for New Zealand. The Queen laid the foundation stone for the cathedral during her first official visit on January 13, 1954. A strong Māori presence has featured during commemorations the Lord's Prayer sung in Te Reo before a traditional lullaby. <laughs> Governor-General Dame Cindy Kiddo led tribute to Her Late Majesty's visits to New Zealand. In return, our Queen gave us a lifetime of dedicated service. The service concluded with a proclamation from the New Zealand Herald of Arms Extraordinary and a final declaration to the new king. God save the king. God save the king. In Wellington, Jessica Maggio, Sky News.